My name is Eric Wordweaver Sherman, Gothi of the Ridgar Folk here in East Texas. Welcome to The Raven's Call. This is a show where I ramble on about different heathen-related subjects, things that interest me. And uh, today I wanted to hit on something that somebody had asked me about uh, back at one of my East Texas Heathens meetups, my park mitts that I do out there. Um, I like these because I get all kinds of questions from newbies that uh, I can bring and turn into shows and things like that. So this one kind of struck me as interesting. The question was about boasting versus bragging because we were talking about Sumble, you know, and uh, at least in the way we do Sumble in our area, hashtag pop heathen culture, um, we tend to do our Sumble in three rounds, um, which is the first round is to the gods and goddesses, the second round is to the ancestors, and the third round is toasts, oaths, and boasts. Uh, I know there's different, you get into historicity, and you can look at different ways of doing it. I know that the Thaidsmen do it a little bit differently. Um, eh, this is how we do it, okay? Don't worry about it. So anyway, ask me about boasting and how it measured up to bragging, what the difference was within a heathen context. And so I liked that. I thought I'd break it down a little bit for him, and so I broke it down, and then I'll break it down for you guys, um, at least as the way I see things. The deal about boasting versus bragging is that bragging is taken to excess, you know, like most things in the Havel Mall, the Havel Mall likes to uh, encourage moderation in all things. Uh, if you look at a lot of the stanzas in the Havel Mall, you will see them, you will see pushed moderation. Uh, it's kind of a key thing, it's important, you know, the, the, the wise man takes the middle road kind of deal. And so bragging goes to excess and the thing about bragging is that bragging goes to such excess that you can't necessarily back it up there's the there's the thing see a boast is when you can stand up and affirmatively say yes i did this thing you can be proud you can say it loudly and you've done the deed there's results to back it up you can see it right there you know yes i am boasting that i went out and i built an altar for our vey don't believe me go look at the altar in the vey. Boom. Boast. Bragging. Bragging's a different story. Bragging is, and what it boils down to is the purpose behind the why behind what you're saying. Okay. And the reason this is important is because people don't differentiate between the whys. And in Western society, because of certain Judeo-Christian baggage and just general zeitgeist throughout past generations, especially in kind of the North America, European worlds, bragging got, gets a bad name. It's bad manners to brag. Uh, the fool is prideful, boastful, pride goeth before the fall, blah, 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 blah. It's okay to be proud of what you do. It's actually encouraged to be proud of what you do, as long as it's something you can be proud of, okay? Active forces, things like that. Now, a boast... The purpose of a boast is to stand up and declare to the gathered individuals that you have done something worthy that is worthy of attention and recognition. You are simply putting it out there, hey, I did this and I feel pretty dang good about it. And then it will be recognized by the people. It raises your honor within the tribe and the tribe's honor by having a member who has stepped up and done these things. So. Within that context, boasting actually benefits the tribe. It benefits you, not to mention it teaches you to feel good about your successes and your achievements, to own them and acknowledge them. So from a psychology aspect, boasting is a wonderful thing. You get to stand up and affirm that you have done good things. So boom, you got it on two fronts, heathen culture and psychology. Boasting is good for you. Bragging is another story. Okay, bragging is the purpose behind the brag is to elevate the bragger above someone else in the social construct. Okay, there's a slight difference here. It's subtle, but it's important. Boasting is to affirm successes. It is to get the correctly proportioned response and honor from the group for deeds done. Bragging is all about making one person look better than the others in the group. 
You brag because they don't have this. I brag that I have gone out and I have bought this giant long ship. And I'm going to brag because it makes me look better than everybody else around me. Okay, well in the same way you could boast about having procured that long ship by talking about the hard things that you did to earn the money to get the long ship and how the long ship is going to benefit the tribe, etc, etc, etc. That's a boast. That is a boast and that is boast worthy. Um, but if all you're doing is trying to say, hey, look, I got a Mercedes and you don't, you're a braggart. All right, and braggarts, come on, nobody likes a braggart. So. That's kind of a breakdown on a whole bragging versus boasting. Boasting is actually a good thing. It reinforces you psychologically. It also brings honor to yourself and to your tribe within the heathen context, especially during Sumble, uh, where it's ritualized and formalized. There's nothing wrong with that. Guys, you work hard. You do good things. Take credit where credit is due. You deserve it. You know, if you have gone through and you have made an incredible thing, I know blacksmiths that constantly put their stuff up online and I am just in awe of the work that they do. It's incredible. It's awesome. It's not bragging. It's boasting. And in some essences, it's advertising because, come on, guy's got to sell his wares in order to be able to keep doing what he's doing. But there's nothing wrong with that. You know, like the guy that, uh, the guy that, and I, heathen, online heathen culture is a stupid thing, but yeah, you, know, you get on there and you see some people that will post up the pictures of projects that they've done. You know, I've carved this great god statue. It looks awesome. It's going up in my vey. This is incredible. That's a boast, and that's boast worthy. I mean, it's. I, I I like that they can share it online. It's cool. I can get some ideas and stuff from it. They need to be boasting to their people, and to their Inengar and their folk community because that's some good stuff, and they deserve to have that shown and be recognized. Now, you know. A brag is usually something that isn't really all that impressive and, like I said, is only done to elevate someone in the social hierarchy, the perceived social hierarchy, uh, as opposed to actually, you know, reinforcing, which is what boasting is for. So, anyway, so that's a breakdown on boasting versus bragging. If you guys have any questions, feel free to hit me up. If you liked today's video, give a like to the video below. Uh, comment in the section below. Also, ding that little notification bell. Subscribe and ding the bell. Uh, I have discovered that not all of my videos make it to the subscription uh, the panel on your phone or whatever it is that you're watching on uh, watching YouTube on because YouTube's algorithms don't show everything to subscribing. So if you want to keep up on everything, apparently subscribing isn't enough. You actually have to hit the notification bell in order to be, and I don't know which side it's going to be on because it flips the videos. Um, you got to ding the notification bell if you want to see everything. Okay. So hit it, ding it, and uh, check it out. The more you interact with my videos on YouTube, the more heathen-related videos are gonna pop up on your YouTube feed. You can follow me on Facebook at wordweaverproductions.com, word-weaverproductions.com. Uh, yeah, it acts like a closed group. It's not really. Uh, it does send everybody. I have to approve everybody coming on. I don't know why it's set up like that. I, I try to make it open. Eh, it's a thing. Send a request. I'm going to approve everybody that goes on there. Anyway, I like to use it as a networking tool because I know some of you guys watch from all over the U.S., some even from overseas. Cool. Love you guys. You guys are awesome. Get on there and communicate. Talk to each other. Um, do some networking. Figure out who's in your area. Figure out, you know, who's from your old hometown. Stuff like that. Eh. I talk to a heathen that's over in overseas. There's a couple on here. They don't comment much, but they're on there. You guys are watching, so love you guys. Anyway, uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Eric underscore Shervin. I also started up a uh, group on MeWe, Word Weaver Productions. Uh, I haven't figured that service out yet. I'm still working on it, so don't don't look too much into that. And like Twitter, I try to play with Twitter, but I'm not really good at Twitter. But I'll try to anyway. So if you feel like watching me flounder my way through Twitter, follow me over there. Otherwise, I get it. It's cool. Anyway. Stay tuned, guys. I'll have more videos coming your way. Hail and have a good one.